Central Rice Research Institute, now named as National Rice Research Institute, was established on April 23, 1946 at Vidyadharpur Katak, Odisha, with an experimental farmland of 60 hectares provided by the government of Odisha. Dr. K. Ramia, an eminent rice breeder, was its founder director. Present land holding is 120 hectares for research and other amenities. ANRRI has two research stations, one at Hazaribag, Jharkhand, for rice research and rainfed upland ecologies, and the other at Gerua Assam for rice research and flood prone rainfed lowland ecology. Two Krishi Vigyan Kendras, KVKs, also function under the administrative control of NRRI. The KVKs are located at Santhpur, Katak, Odisha, and Jayanagar Kodarma, Jharkhand. During the span of 73 years, the institute has developed 133 high yielding rice varieties, several crop production and protection technologies, and farm implements. The rice production in the country has increased from 20 million tons in 1950 to 112 million tons in 2017-18. Varieties cover 18 to 20 percent of rice area in the country. The country is now annually exporting about 10 million tons of rice and earning a sizable amount of foreign exchange. You mentioned we are exporting from ship to mouth. We have reached a situation where we are net exporters of food. What is the quantum of earning of the exports merely from rice? From rice, if you include basmati as well as non-basmati, total amount is around 50,000 crore rupees per year. You're now joking, 50,000 crores? Yes, yes. And when I say quantity, it is around 10 million tons, out of which 6 million tons is non-basmati, 4 million tons is basmati rice. National Rice Research Institute has developed high-protein rice variety CR Dhan 310 and CR Dhan 311 with an average 10.3% protein in milled rice. Similarly, CR Dhan 801 and CR Dhan 802 are two climate-smart varieties developed with resilience to unfavorable climate change. The ICR NRRI mobile rice expert app provides information in real time on multidimensional aspects. Commercial rice farming with NRRI technology, application of leaf color chart for better nitrogen management, fabricated more than 30 implements for farmers, imparting periodical updated extension training to needy people. The extension part also observes various functions like foundation day, implements are being given to the farmers and tie up with other countries for collaborative projects. Gene Bank, the institute has deposited more than 35,600 accessions in the National Gene Bank as long-term storage, while more than 20,000 accessions are preserved as medium-term storage in NRRI Gene Bank. We have got array of very modern and sophisticated equipment, texture analyzer, UVV spectrophotometer, GCM spectrophotometer, atomic absorption spectrophotometer, ICP OES, use the emission spectroscopy to detect and quantify elements in a sample, gas chromatograph, high performance liquid chromatography HPLC, denaturing gradient gel electrophoresis DGGE, and then Roots Scanalyzer, an image analyzer designed for root measurement, their morphology, length, area, volume, topology, etc. Nitrogen Auto Analyzer, Primcast 100 Analyzer Scalar that can determine total nitrogen and organic, residual, inorganic carbon in soils and plants. Chlorophyll Fluorescence, imaging system using fluorescence technique. Glycemic Index Platform, a protocol for GI has been developed to identify 
rice varieties with low GI for diabetic patients. UHLPC analyze amino acid profile and flavonoids. C4 rice platform that develops C4 rice that eventually enhance productivity of C3 rice by 50% or more, thereby ensuring food security. SNP genotyping system, QTL mapping, marker assisted selection breeding, somatic mutation, quantitative gene expression, copy variant analysis are being done. Biological control of rice insect paste, an important natural parasitoid known as trichogamma, multiplied to tackle yellow stem borer and rice leaf folder. The institute also provides many other sophisticated and modern equipment to cater to the need of scientists. NRRI is progressing as a flagship at an accelerated pace with the establishment of new infrastructure to address the emerging challenges of rice farming. It has earned accolades at national and international levels for its service to rice science and also in the areas of sports and culture. National Rice Research Institute is committed to enhance productivity, profitability and climate resilience of the rice farming and serve the rice farmers.